Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to filter large sets of data. First we're going to filter out numbers that we don't want. I'll show you how to use the filter function for that. And then second, we're going to show you how to keep only every nth row of data. So in this example we have over 33,000 rows of data, which is far more than I need. I would like to keep, for example, maybe every 100th row. Um, so if I want to keep one one-hundredth of this data, I can't just delete the first few thousand rows or the last few thousand rows. I've got to take a sampling of the data, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So to begin with, um, I've got this column that's vehicle speed here, and I'm going to expand these so we can read the headings. We've got this column B, which is vehicle speed, and it starts out with lots of zeros. The vehicle wasn't moving, and I want to filter that out, so I'm going to highlight that column. And from the Home tab, come over here to Sort and Filter, and then turn on a filter. You'll notice that when I did that, it brought a little drop-down button here to the top of this column. I'll select that, and it lets me filter in all kinds of ways. We can filter from smallest to largest. We can, um, we can add custom filters where we can filter anything above or below a certain number. You know, does not equal, greater than, or less than, and so forth, between. You can see all these options. But what I'm going to do here is I want to get rid of the zeros. To actually delete the zeros, I'm going to turn off everything and only turn on the rows that have zero in column B. So by doing this, I have nothing left but zeros now in this column. And while the others are hidden, I'm going to take this opportunity to delete these rows. So I'll select row three and then Hit Control Shift and the down arrow to highlight all of the rows with data in them. Then I'll right click and delete the rows. You see now they're gone, and it appears at first that all the data is gone, but it's not. It's just filtered. So I'll come back here. You'll see that zero is no longer an option for me. The zeros are gone. I'll turn everything else back on, and uh, there we have it. As soon as we got a non-zero number now, we're, we begin recording and we begin with our data. Now, this data, I don't need all of it, so I'm going to show you how to um, filter out some that, some that we don't need. I want to keep every 100th row, for example. So I'll start by coming over here to the very next column, which is column H, and begin counting. And of course, Excel should be able to figure out what I'm doing here, so I should be able to come to the lower corner here and double click and it will autofill and number every row all the way to, to 33,000 or wherever we are now. Once I've got the numbers in there, I'm going to use the mod function right there. And what this does is divides the number that I choose by a number that I choose. So I'm going to choose this cell to the left. I'm going to divide this one add a comma, by 100. And I can use any number there. I could use 10, I could use 50, I could use 1,000. And whatever I do, in fact, I'm going to back up and divide it by 10 this first time so you can see what it does. So I use the mod function. I use the, the number that I choose first is the cell next to me. And then I'm going to divide by 10. Now if I copy that formula down, you can see that it counts 1 through 10. It's got a 0 here, so there are 10 different numbers here, and then it repeats. And it repeats all the way down to the very bottom. So now I've set this up so that I will keep 1 out of every 10 rows of data right now. So now what I'll do is I'll come in here and turn on a filter in column I. Now when I first click on filter, it's going to turn off the filter that we created in column B. I'll come back and click it one more time and we'll add a, a filter to column I. Now what I want to do is let's say I only want to keep the rows that have a 1 in them. So I'll keep this row, I will keep this row, and this row, and every tenth row all the way down. So what I'll do is I will come down here and turn off the 1's and hide them. You can see the ones are all gone now. So now that the ones are gone, I'll do like I've done before. I'll select row four, control shift and the down arrow to 
highlight all of the data, and I'll delete the row. And if I have a lot of data, it will take a few seconds, and it depends on the speed of your computer as well. Okay, turn back on what I have, which were only the rows numbered 1. So there I have it. Now, instead of 33,000 rows, I'll have one-tenth that many rows. And again, I could divide by 100. If I place 100 here in this number, when I create my formula, it'll I can select and only have every 100th row or every 50th row, or whatever number I choose to put it in that position right there. Okay, I don't need these columns anymore. I can delete them. They were just there for the, the filtering function. And now I have it. I have my, my filtered data. That'll be easier to work with and easier to graph, and that's how you do it in Excel.